Hey you kids, welcome back to Rummage Sale Tunes. I'm Lipton W. Moose, and I've got the world's biggest collection of classic cartoons. <laughs> but my garage is getting too full. I gotta make some room for them in there, so I'm giving them away, one at a time. My projector kind of done his bust, so it goes off when I least expect it. So watch out! <laughs> Today's cartoon is from Warner Brothers again. It stars two of the studio's minor characters, a little African boy named Inky, and a black mina bird. It was the third cartoon for these two characters, and it's called Inky and the Mina Bird. Imagine that! <laughs> Inky is a little boy who's just trying to hunt a lion, and the mina bird is sort of a magical character that shows up unexpectedly to pay tricks on the lion or on Inky. It doesn't really matter. In lots of folk stories, there's a clever character known as a trickster who goes around playing tricks on other characters. Alvin the Chipmunk is a trickster, and in Warner Brothers cartoons, the main trickster is Bugs Bunny. But in our cartoon this time, it's the minor bird, and he doesn't care who he tricks. He's what you might call enigmatic, which means difficult to understand. There's a word you can use today. Who's the trickster around here, Lipton? I think you know, Snakely. What have you got up your sleeve today? <sighs> nice of you to mention my new wardrobe. Today I'm wearing my dress sleeve, but when it gets cold, I'll wear a coat sleeve. <sighs> I know you wouldn't have put that on unless you're planning some kind of trick. Come on, Lipton. Why would I try to trick you when the projector is just about to start showing the cartoon? How do you know that? Because it's just about time. Oh, no, there goes the music. How did you read that watch anyway? Oh, we gotta go.
Minor Bird just does the weirdest things. This cartoon was directed by Chuck Jones, and the one thing he really liked was pantomime. That's when characters act out a story without saying anything. So, you may have noticed there were no spoken lines in this cartoon. That unusual music playing as the bird walked is called the Hebrides Overture, written by Felix Mendelssohn. It's a good example of how music in a film can help get across what a character is about. At Warner's, the musical director was a man named Carl W. Stalling. 
and he used all sorts of classical and popular songs to accompany the action in the cartoons. This tune was from the Merry Melodies series. When that began, the cartoons were always based on a particular song. They were often filled with singing toys or books or something. I really like that bird song. I'm going to try to learn to play it on my ukulele. Yeah, Snakely, you've got a lot of musical instruments in your room, but I never understood how you can play them. I play the frets with my tongue and pluck the strings with my tail. Hmm, that sounds like it wouldn't work. Well, just get a load of this. Wow, that's really great. But what about that pat piano behind you? How do you play that? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess so. A yuck. Whatever. You know, that's really relaxing music. I feel like I'm about to drop off or, or something. Getting sleepy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 